Friday Night Football. Your first and goal coverage with Joel Villanueva is supported by McDonald's Valley Wide. Hey, welcome back. Another week of RGV football brought us the same question once again. Can anyone beat San Benito? The Greyhounds racing now to a 3-0 start. They're also the top-ranked 6A team in Dave's Dozen. Tonight, San Benito at home to face our fifth-ranked 6A team, Los Fresnos. Here with the update on our first and goal game of the week, it's Channel 5's Brandon Ortega. Take it away, B. Hey, what's up, Joel? Year after year, people call 32-6A the district of death. Every opponent has a tough task every single week en route to the playoffs. And that's where everything started tonight for San Benito and Los Fresnos, two teams hot coming into district play as we take a look at the highlights. A beautiful night for some high school football. The weather was clear out here at Bobby Morrow Stadium. San Benito, as Joel said, undefeated. Los Fresnos, two-game winning streak coming off a very impressive performance last week. Now, first quarter, that Falcon defense shutting down San Benito early on. That's a three and out. But on the next possession, Greyhounds offense would start to click. Isaiah Trevino going the other way. And that's a 10-yard touchdown run, 7-0 San Benito. And then the Falcons would have a quick response. Charles Chapa, he'll fake the handoff. Now go 15 yards right back at you, 7-7 seven, seven at the end of the quarter. Right at the beginning of the second, San Benito would get back into a rhythm. Tyrone Harper leapfrogs into the end zone, and then late in the second, more San Benito offense. This time, Retta with the nice fake touchdown, 22-10 at halftime. This game looked like San Benito could pull away in the second half, but here comes Los Fresnos. After a safety, making it a 10-point game. How about this kickoff return for a touchdown? All of a sudden, we got a three-point game, and this one would keep going back and forth the rest of the way. Tyrone Harper, the go-to guy for San Benito. How about that? Get off me. Harper with three touchdowns on the night, and San Benito weathers the Los Fresno storm, if you will, in the second half, and they hang on to win 43 to 33. Now, even though that's a 10-point deficit as we bring it back live to Bobby Morrow Stadium, don't let that fool you. This game was as close as it gets. A 10-point victory for San Benito. Los Fresnos now 0-1 to start district. They've got to make up some ground, not only to stay in the playoff race, but to get back into the district championship race. But as we said, final score here at our first goal game of the week, 43-33. San Benito with the win. Back to you, Joel. All right, thank you, B. Mercedes and Donna, two teams taking the same path to week five. Each team lost their season opener. Each team won their next two games, and each team was off last week. The Mid Valley Showdown at Benny LaPrade Stadium on their first drive. Mercedes dials up the Ledesma connection. Mark Ledesma on one end, Matthew Ledesma on the other end there, and touchdown Los Tigres. After that, the Redskins. Going on offense, a third and long. Redskins have to throw here, but the Tigers, Valentin Lopez and Jose Villarreal, combine for the sack. Redskins have to punt, and here comes Mercedes again. Alex Ramos on the handoff, and he has got some spring in his step. He's in there for the score. 14-0 Mercedes, second quarter. Tigers fans say, hey, we want some more from Alex Ramos. Well, they got it. The running back in for six here. Mercedes goes on to win 35-7 as they capture their district opener. The Battle of FM 506, La Feria, the home team this year. Santa Rosa, the visitor. First quarter, the Lions unleashing those sharp claws. Darius Hernandez on the carry, turns the corner, and he fights his way in. 7-0 Lions and up in the stands, it's the Lions stuffed animals. Very nice. Later in the first quarter, Dorian Hernandez with a quick pass to Noah Conde. And Conde likes his peanut butter smooth, not crunchy. That is a smooth look and run. Lions take a 14-0 lead, unleash the noisemakers. Lafetia bringing the firepower once again, a direct snap to Julian Trevino. He finds the end zone. The final score, 47 0. Lafetti's record now 3 2 on the season. At Bogus Stadium tonight, it was Bird Bowl 25. 
Harlingen South and Harlingen playing once again for bragging rights. Let's get the update. Channel 5's Ruben White is live in Harlingen where the Hawks were hoping to get a rare win over the Redbirds. Ruben? Hey, Joel, it's been all Harlingen recently in the Bird Bowl. They, they're going for 10th straight win tonight. Another, a win tonight would also give Coach Manny Gomez victory, number 100 of his head coaching career. As for South, as you mentioned earlier, it's been a rough go for them in this series. They've only won four of the 24 matchups entering tonight's contest. Let's go ahead and take a look at the highlights. Harlingen looking to come out and steamroll their rival tonight. Following a muffed punt by South, Ralph Castellanos runs it up the gut for Harlingen to give the Cardinals a 7-0 lead. Later on, the Cardinal D causing a fumble, and this is how they cashed in. All kinds of movement in the backfield. They're working something up. It's a double reverse. Daniel Ramirez to Joe Reyna. 14-0 Harlingen after the first quarter. Reyna had a huge ball game. This time, Ramirez finds him on the far sideline, and Reyna dives in for the score. Cardinal Nation going crazy. If this were hockey, we'd call this a hat trick. Ramirez to the deep bomb, and guess who? Joe Reyna. Three touchdowns on the day for him, all in the first half. Harlingen blanks south, 33 to nothing in the first half, and they go on to win. 36 to seven, the final. A, a complete domination by the Cardinals. They go on to win 36 to seven. Once again, win number 100 for head coach Manny Gomez, as his team goes on to have a display that was very, very strong tonight against the rivals Harlingen South. That's all from Bogus Stadium. Joel, let's send it back to you in the studio. All right, thank you. Good job there. Ruben can roll those R's with the best of them. Meanwhile, an all-city battle up in Edinburgh. The Bobcats and the Canamides Jaguars popping pads. Albert Guerra to Omar Trevino. Jags inside the 10. Then they go to Lee Maldonado. The Canamides striking first, 7-0 Jags. Second quarter, the Southpaw Slinger letting this one fly. And Pete Segura. Making the nice catch. He is off to pay turf. Bobcats would trail most of this game, but in the end, they pull off the comeback win. Edinburgh over Econ 28-14. Last year, Pioneer and Nixon shared the 31-5A crown. Tonight, that rematch going down up in Laredo. And a great start for Sherry Lynn Pioneer. Opening drive, Jacob Rosales rolls right, connects with Roel Cajero. No one back for Nixon. Diamondbacks on the board early, second quarter, a 7-3 game now in favor of Pioneer. The Mustangs knocking on the door off the right side there. Emil Oliva Nixon with 22 unanswered points to end the first half. And the Diamondbacks take the L 36-14. The Pirates have yet to win this season tonight. Coach Monty Stumbaugh's team playing Rockport, Fulton, and Gregory Portland. Early on, Will Smith keeps it for the score. After a two-point conversion, Hidalgo down 8 nothing. A few minutes later, Hidalgo punting. Rockport on the return. Zach Weems makes a few cuts, and he is going to be gone. Rockport Fulton dominates in this one, 65 nothing. the final score out there tonight. Now, we take you out to Star County. Last night, Rio Grande City came back to beat Roma at Joe Sancho Stadium. Tonight, the same location, Gruya, welcoming Rio Hondo there. The Bobcats and Gators have been able to score this year. How would they do tonight? For the answer, we bring in Channel 5's Trayson Bragg with all the highlights. Trayson? Joel, tonight we had a clash between two big time offenses. Both the Bobcats and the Gators are led by stud dual threat QBs who have each racked up over 390 yards, both in the air and on the ground coming into tonight's game. So you don't have to be a football expert to know that both defenses would be tested tonight. So as always, Joel, let's do what we do and get to the action. The Gators defense would make a statement early with this bone crushing hit separating the running back from the football for that important turnover early in the game. Later, their big time running back, Benny Cantu, with his sliding touchdown right up the gut. Extra cool points for the slide for the game's first score. 
on the following kickoff return, though, the Bobcats returner would fumble around with the ball, but once he picked it up, he meant business. Look at him turn on the Jets here, and he sees the defender and says, whoop, you can't touch me. Cuts back and looks like he may go, oh, not quite all the way, but he does go far enough to get some excitement going and some momentum going for the Bobcats. A few plays later, their wide receiver, Eric Pizarro, does his best. Odell Beckham impersonation with that BEA beautiful touchdown grab for their first score of the night. And later on in the half, in fact, just before the end of the half, they get their second touchdown catch of the game. That would give them the lead. And I'll tell you, Joel, that second touchdown was huge for them because it allowed them to keep that momentum rolling throughout the rest of the game, which is a big reason why they were able to get the big win over the Gators with a score of 33 to 21 here in Rio Grande City. I'm Trayson Bragg, Channel 5 Sports. All right, good job, T. Thank you for that. Our Channel 5 cameras also in Santa Maria tonight. Cougars looking for their second straight win down 7-0. Santa Maria answers back. They go to Ismael Rodriguez. Touchdown for the Cougars. The cheerleaders doing their thing. And the Santa Maria offense doing theirs. Later in the first quarter, Cougs on the ground. Senior Alex Perez up the field and into the end zone. Santa Maria and Agua Dulce in a tight ball game, 33 all in the fourth quarter. Elsewhere, the Tinaco Bowl going to Westlaco East this year. Highlights of this one coming up in the first and goal final. Elsewhere tonight, we have got Juanes Lincoln with 21, Rowe with 31 points. McCall Memorial steamrolls Palmview 49-7, while PSJA High School is on the way to stay undefeated. Bears lead the Javelinas 34-14. In District 31 5A play here, we see Sherry Lind over Martin 31-28 right now in the fourth quarter. And Mission Veterans all over Cigarroa Patriots will remain undefeated. In 32-5A tonight, Brownsville Lopez takes down Porter 35-7. Raymondville over Kingsville in non-district play. St. Joseph puts up 62 points in Port Isabel. That game still going. Lyford handles La Villa 61 to nothing. And one final score this evening, it is Monte Alto leading Benavides 27-14 in the fourth quarter. That's your look at sports. We'll be right back after this.